What's this? That's oh, a courier assignment. Okay. Turn in a bit. Let's talk to sister. Claudia Auditori. Let's see, the third child, she was born in 1461, she's a student noble, the third child of Giovanni and Maria Auditori. And the first girl in the family, Claudia, seems to have been a bit of a spoiled brat. Hmm. It looks like her parents had to raise her dow dowry by 1,000 florins after she scared away all her potential suitors. A report from her school indicates she once attacked another girl for looking at her boyfriend and knocked her out cold. Damn, bro, this whole family <laughs> knows how to fight. On the plus side, she's Ezio's sister, so you should be safe. <laughs> Be safe from her wrath. Let's see some oh, everything looks good. Let's talk to her. Hey Claudia, how are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. <sighs> it's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. <laughs> you only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Oh, Wait damn. Here. If she's sinister. I'll go have a word with him. He should suffer. Beat a cheat. Find and punish Dukio. I Dukio. Where you at, bro? Make you wish that you didn't do shit to my sister, bro. Don't get wrecked. The hell was that? Alright, relax, Ezio. My god, man. Ooh, Santa Maria del Fiore. One of Italy's largest churches and the largest landmark in Florence, Santa Maria del Fiore is considered by many to be the first masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. Although the church was designed by Arnolfo di Cambio in 1296, the dome was not started until the beginning of the 15th century. With Cambio long dead, none of the architects at the time had any idea how to construct such an enormous structure, since the use of buttresses was forbidden in Florence and mortar took several days to set. But all was not lost. An amazing comeback story, Filippo Brunelleschi, an architect who had been defeated in an earlier bid to design the baptistry doors, Won the competition to build the dome, he beat out Lorenzo Ghiberti, the same artist he had lost to before. Brunelleschi invented machines to hoist the bricks needed for the dome up to the workers and was able to construct the entire dome without using centering, a support structure to hold the dome in place while bricks were laid. Holy crap, containing over 4 million bricks, the dome was completed in 1436. The lantern was added after Brunelleschi's death in 1446, wow, 10 years later, and supposedly contains holy relics. However, there were several rumors that, in fact, an entire tomb of unknown origin is located inside. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Intriguing. Um, jump. Okay. I guess I'll do this first. Oh, bruh. A cheater. A cheater, son. I thought you'd been promised to her. The father said I could do much better than an auditore. Oh! Birbante! Hmm? Come, let us walk a bit. Walk? No, I think not. I had something <gasps> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. <laughs> uh, yo, you gonna get it, son. Hey, Lurido Porco! No, dirty Ezio, pig. my friend. You insult my sister. Parading around with this puttana. Oh, damn. What are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her. Or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtu. Oh. You broke her heart. Ha! And now I'm going to break your face. No, I you think not. You all talk me. But when it comes time for action, ha! You'll regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great... She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Damn, bro. You're getting wrecked. Just letting you know. Yeah, he has a lot of health. Basta, mi arrendo. Hmm? Stay Better. away from my sister. Fucking punk. All right, cool. Let's see about this viewpoint.
Alright, B to cheat complete. And beat up events unlocked. Okay. So from here, I think if I jump over to that window, hopefully. Wait. Huh. Nice. Sweet. Alright. Mmm, just gotta make my way around. Yeah, did I choose the wrong side? Shit. Damn, bruh. <laughs> is it lower? No, nah, man, there's no way, right? Oh, there it is. Yep. I should, damn, man, I went all the way around. Now all I have to do is go left instead of right. Guess I gotta go inside. Oh look, it's a treasure chest. Okay, wait a minute. Okay. I'm here. And now, for the freaking leap of faith. Woo! Damn, bro. <laughs> All right, next mission. That was really cool. Of stained glass. Around. Hey, Ezio. Oh, Petrucci Auditory. I know they had a s little brother. Date of birth: fourteen sixty-three. The youngest of the Auditory children. Um, Petruccio was described as having a weak constitution by Giovanni Auditore in a letter to Lorenzo de' Medici soon after the boy's birth. Apparently he didn't improve with time. Petruccio was pulled from school due to illness when he was 12, and according to records from the family doctor, was confined to bed. Damn, bro. No other data exists after that, so it's probable that he eventually succumbed to his illness. Ouch. What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. <laughs> Got those eyes. <laughs> Obtain eagle feathers for Petruccio before he gets in trouble for sneaking out of bed. Oh, so he's... wow. Petruccio's secret mission. Okay. Oh, shit. It's timed. Where are these feathers at? Someone's right there. That was only three of them though. That should not be easy. Well. They're pretty freaking far. Oh god. Yeah man, that's not what I wanted you to do. Okay, where's this one at? There it is. Okay. 
before I return them, may as well just get this thing since I'm right here. Go, go, go! Climb fast, fast! Okay. Let us return to... Dusha, oh shit. Run! Enemies are watching. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Hmm. Poor guy. Alright, where we at now? Let's see. DNA. Okay. So this is the one for my mother. This can now be collected throughout the world. Maria Auditore. Date of birth, 1432. She's a writer and a noble. I grow tired of these walls that surround me and I am bored with safety. Now is the time to make a decision. I will go out there and see what my life may truly be. Maria wrote these words when she was 16, a week before she met Giovanni Auditore. Born into the powerful banking family, the Mazzi, Maria is one of the most famous historical sources of the time period due to her multi-volume diary, which has been translated by several notable scholars and is on display in the Fusi Gallery in Florence. With funding from her parents, Maria opened up a bakery in the courtyard of her family palazzo, which she transformed into an artistic gathering place. It was there that she met a man with such conviction, I found myself rooted to the spot, unable to look anywhere else. That man was Giovanni Auditore. Maria and Giovanni were married in 1450. Maria's diary entries continued for the next few decades, describing her patronage of several up-and-coming artists and her trials as a mother, at which point she abruptly abandons her writing to the disappointment of historians everywhere. Wow. All right, mother. Hello. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? Mm -hmm. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. Friend of the family, help Maria with her errand. Oh! I know what happens here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. Hmm? He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What will happen to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, hmm. I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs. But it will pass. Thanks. Eh. Bottega di Leonardo a Firenze. That's a unique one. Leonardo da Vinci opened his own studio after completing his apprenticeship to Verec Verrocchio, one of the most successful Florentine artists of the day. Between 40, 1476 and 1481, Leonardo probably continued to collaborate with Verrocchio, although, although no one is quite sure what he was working on. In 1481, he was given his first commission by the monks of San Donato, a uh, Scopetto, to paint the Adoration of the Magi. In true Da Vinci style, he began the painting, but he never finished it. <laughs> Here we are.
Hello, Leonardo. Leonardo da Vinci. This is my son, Ezio. Molto onorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. Oh. Mother. Back to your house then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? Hmm? You mean carry it for him? Sure. So Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Leonardo da Vinci. Date of birth 1452. Profession painter, inventor, designer, architect, scientist, engineer. My god. <laughs> the illegitimate son of a notary and a pre peasant woman, Leonardo da Vinci was raised in Tuscany. Like many destined to be superstars, he had no surname, Vinci being the town in which he was born. Oh wow. At age 14, he was apprenticed to a Florentine painter, Verrocchio, who taught him chemistry, drafting, painting, sculpting, and modeling. My god. When he was 20, Leonardo established his own workshop and then traveled across Italy, eventually painting his great masterpieces, The Last Supper in 1498 and The Mona Lisa in 1503 to 1507. During his travels, Leonardo studied the world with unquestionable curiosity, recording his observations in mirror writing within his notebooks. He created designs for a helicopter, tank, solar power, and a calculator, among others. He was also an engineer, designing garrisons, cannons, and movable barricades. My god. Despite this epic list of accomplishments, Leonardo was hounded by his patrons for his chronic procrastination. <laughs> Pieces frequently took years longer than he anticipated, and many were never finished at all. Leonardo also had a tumultuous love life. Accus accused of sodomy, in 1476, he was, mostly, he was most likely homosexual. Salai, his assistant, was accused of stealing and spending too much money on clothes, but was also probably Leonardo's lover. Leonardo painted several pictures of Salai, including his famous St. John the ba Baptist, and left the Mona Lisa to him when he died in 1519. Oh. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, art, was it? Truth be told, yeah. it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, a, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Hmm? Let's run. You guys good? Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. Alright. Friend of the family complete. Let's see about this courier mission. Get this to its destination fast. Really fast. I'll pay you well. Casanova, deliver these two letters to guarded recipients. From Raphael. My beloved, how can I live without you? I cannot work, I simply idle away, imagining your face. The fact that your husband has locked you away behind cold walls sickens me. You are a budding older woman. You should have the privilege to feel my sweet kisses like a gentle wind caressing your soft petals. Yet, finally, it is Friday when he goes off to sea. Oh, happy day, and still happier night. Come, when the sky rains with sparkling stars, come find me and jump into my arms. At midnight, I will be waiting at our special spot. Yours forever, Raphael. Oh, damn. What the hell? What, you, what does he have? Two different lovers, this Raphael guy? My dearest, how can I live without you? I cannot work... Wait, isn't this the same thing? It is the same thing, bruh. <laughs> the fact that your father... Oh my god. The fact that your father has locked you away behind cold walls against me, you're budding blah blah blah. Yet finally it is Friday when he goes off to market. <laughs> wow. At dusk I will be awaiting at our special spot. Bruh, this guy. <laughs> what a freaking 
Gasanova, I guess. I don't know. Freaking guy, man. Alright, how do you get over there? Is it just like. Just climb? I'm just kind of going to the courtyard, I guess. Oh, okay. Okay, that was easy. Go, man. Oh, shit. Nice. Three minutes. Shit. Nice. funny, that was the freaking name of the mission. 